the worst coronations in history. With the coronation of King Charles III of the United Kingdom, Britain has witnessed its 40th coronation at Westminster Abbey. These coronations witnessed glory and excess, but the planners behind them were racked with fear, terrified that something would go wrong. Turns out, there is historical reason for this worry. In history, few coronations have ranked as some of the worst out there, some even causing deaths of thousands of people. So today's video will convey the top five worst coronations to have occurred throughout history. Let's begin. Number five, Queen Elizabeth II. I'm sure this ranking comes as a surprise, knowing that the Queen was seen to be perfect in every capacity. However, many do not appreciate the difficulties of her coronation back in 1953. In May 2022, mere months before her death at the age of 96, Queen Elizabeth II gave a rare, candid interview about the expectations of a coronation, what was needed for correct ritual, but also things King Charles should avoid on his own fateful day. According to the Queen, her coronation was horrible due to several factors. Firstly, the state coach was apparently far too uncomfortable. The Queen had to sit inside for three hours solid, while the inside of the coach contained a thin layer of leather, in the stifling heat this wasn't comfortable one bit. Secondly, the Queen's coronation dress, stunning though it may have been, caused immense grief for those during the day. This is because the silk embroidery on her train found itself stuck on the carpet behind her. At times, the Queen stated that she was unable to move at all, and had to use discreet facial expressions to prompt her ladies-in-waiting to reposition her trail and casually untucking her. All in all, however, the Queen's coronation appeared mostly a success, not compared to some of the later entries of today's video. Number four, Queen Victoria. Despite her rather glorious reign, Queen Victoria's coronation was anything but. Despite the new queen having over a year to prepare for the coronation, there is very little planning or rehearsal. The evening before her coronation, Queen Victoria remarked that she had no idea where to even stand during the ceremony, despite her being the main attraction. During the coronation, Queen Victoria seemingly forgot where to move next, instead waiting for her bishops to prompt her where to stand. Other disasters at her coronation include sandwiches discarded over the altarpiece, and an elderly gentleman, Lord Roll, collapsing in front of the Queen, which caused her great amusement. Number three, George IV. The coronation of George IV is perhaps the worst to have occurred in Great Britain. For starters, the ceremony cost the British taxpayer £230,000 in 1820, which would amount to £18 million today. However, the worst part of George's coronation was that the other principal member of the ceremony, Queen Caroline, was banned from attending her own coronation. George and his wife, Caroline, had long been separated before 1820, with Caroline living it up in Italy with a lover half her age. She heard of her husband's upcoming coronation secondhand and rushed back to England to be crowned as Queen. George, however, banned Caroline from entering Westminster Abbey, but the Queen was adamant she was to be crowned. She found herself trying every door into the Abbey, but alas, she failed to break in. Onlooking crowds booed and jeered her as she tried. She quickly gave up, leaving in distress and in tears. George's ban of Caroline likely contributed to her death only two weeks later. Number two, King Amadeo of Spain. A relatively unknown king, Amadeo was king of Spain for only three short years, sandwiched between Spanish republicanism. Although he is unknown to many, his coronation goes down in history books as perhaps one of the worst to have ever occurred. When he arrived in Madrid in 1870, preparations for his coronation were hurried. His queen, Maria Vittoria, had already been an unpopular choice since she was not from royal blood. The day before the coronation, the Queen's dressmaker hung herself instead of the dress. The deaths didn't stop quite there. 
As Maria Vittoria travelled in her carriage during the coronation, the lead colonel fell from his horse due to heat stroke. His replacement, upon hearing the news, reportedly slit his own throat. As the royal couple journeyed away from the church procession, they headed towards the royal train, where the train master fell onto the track and was run over by the royal train. By now, the new king, Amadeo, got frustrated and suspicious of all these deaths around him. He ordered all of his courtiers to return to the palace. While the guests got into their carriages, one guest, the Count of Castiglione, fell into the wheels of one of the moving carriages behind him. The metal spikes on his uniform inadvertently killed him. The coronation of King Amadeo of Spain was the deadliest and perhaps one of the worst coronations to have occurred, but that was until a few decades later. Number one, Nicholas II of Russia. Amadeo of Spain's coronation had a death toll of six. However, this is nothing compared to the disastrous coronation, which was the world's worst coronation in history, which occurred in 1896. The coronation of Nicholas II and his wife, Alix, was the deadliest coronation to have ever occurred in history. During the ceremony, spanning almost 12 hours in total, the Empress Alix suffered a miscarriage, during which she was unable to leave the ceremony prematurely and suffered as a result. Alix's mother-in-law, the Danish Princess Dagmar, lampooned her, claiming that she was weak. Nobody took the Empress's miscarriage seriously, and this could have killed her. However, the true extent of this coronation's worst dimension came from the outside, at Kadinka Field. Thousands of people, working and middle class, turned out to witness the royal couple as they made their way to and from the sacred ceremony of the coronation. During the coronation, Nicholas II wanted everyone to receive a complimentary tankard. As 500,000 people attended, there clearly was not enough for everyone, causing mass hysteria as spectators rushed forward to claim their prize. The platform which contained the prizes, as well as the ability to witness the royal couple moving past, fell due to the sheer amount of people rushing forward. This allowed new crowds of people to run atop of the people beneath them, crushing them to death. Over the next two hours, 1,282 dead bodies piled on top of one another while another 20,000 people suffered injuries related to being trampled over. The terrible coronation was reported all around the world. Queen Victoria, upon hearing the news, feared that this was an ill omen for what was to become of her grandson-in-law, Nicholas II's reign. She couldn't have been more correct. Nicholas II was Russia's final monarch. He abdicated the throne in 1917. A mere year later, Nicholas, his wife Alix, and their five children were brutally murdered by the Bolsheviks. And there we have it, the worst coronations to have occurred in history. Which coronation were you the most surprised with? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is The Shy Historian and stay tuned for many more.